An economic law can be presented in a diagram. Some students think that it's difficult to use diagrams. No, it's not. Even a kid could do it. What will you learn? You will learn that an economic law can be presented in a diagram and how that can be done. You will also learn how to use the diagram to get answers for if-then type of questions, such as if the price is $10, the demand for cars is 5 million. How this works in detail can be best shown using an example. The blue graph in the diagram shows ants consumption behavior. It shows how income causes consumption. How does it work? Let's say we want to find out what is the consumption that is caused by an income of 60,000. So first we look for an income of 60,000, which is here. And from there we go straight up to the graph. Then from that point we go horizontally to the left and we end up at 50,000. That means that an income of 60,000 causes, in Ant's case, a consumption of 50,000. Please note the arrows. We started with the income because that one causes consumption and we end our argument with the result which is consumption. Let's choose another example. We want to find out what consumption goes with an income of 160,000. We can basically pick every point on the axis. From 160,000 we move straight up to the curve, move horizontally to the left and end up at 100, 110, 120, 130,000. Meaning an income of 160,000 causes consumption of 130,000.